Hello, welcome back to English lesson with Madam Ngo. Today we are in Unit 3 Wildlife on page 34 of your textbook. Today we are going to read for information. The lesson focus of today's is listen and guess the animals, get to know three sentences and the meanings, read the text, and finally state true or false based on the test rate. Now, let us listen and guess the animal. Are you ready? So, what animal is this? Yes, it's a gorilla. Next. This is a very common animal, wild animal in Sarawak. Do you get it? It's a crocodile. How about this? It's an eagle. Okay, how about this? This animal has only four letters, starting with B. Yes, it's a bear. How about this? <coughs> this animal lives in deserts. Yes, it's a camel. It's a dolphin. Can you get all of the animals correctly? It's okay. If you can't get it correctly, at least you know the sound of the animals now. So next, we are going to look at three sentences and their meanings. The first sentence is, It is important to protect all animals because they are all interesting. Okay, the word in blue, protect here means meling dungi. Meling dungi. Okay. This sentence means adalah sangat uh, penting bagi kita untuk melindungi semua haiwan kerana mereka semua menarik. Okay, the second sentence is best to protect the beautiful species, not the ugly ones. Okay, species here means species ataupun jenis haiwan. Okay, this sentence means uh, yang merupakan lebih paling baik untuk kita melindungi uh, jenis haiwan yang cantik tapi bukan yang uh, hodoh. Is it correct? Only the beautiful species? Let's ponder. A lot of species become esteemed every year. Animals in danger need our help. Become esteemed means menjadi pupus. Danger. In danger. Dalam keadaan yang bahaya. Okay. Help. Pertolongan. Okay. This sentence means terdapat banyak jenis haiwan yang menjadi pupus setiap tahun. Haiwan-haiwan ini dalam keadaan yang sangat bahaya dan memerlukan pertolongan kita. Okay. Before we read a text, okay, I would like you to remember these three sentences because later we are going to identify which two 
among these three sentences does the writer agree with? Sebelum kita membaca petikan, okay, ingat tiga ayat ini. Sebab nanti selepas bacaan, kita akan uh, tentukan uh, mana dua ayat daripada tiga ayat ini adalah uh, betul mengenai petikan. Now, let's read. We are going to read a passage about this animal. Do you ever encounter it? Do you know what animal is this? Yes, it's a blob fish. It's a blob fish. The blob fish isn't the most beautiful fish on the planet and it isn't the most common. It's a dull color and you don't usually see it because it lives 1,000 meters under the seas near Australia. We have three words in blue. The first one is beautiful, chante, common, biasa, dal, kusam. Okay, petikan ini bermaksud, blockfish bukan ikan yang paling chante dalam bumi ini. Ia juga bukan uh, haiwan yang biasa. Jadi maksudnya dia sangat sangat jarang. It's rare. Okay. Uh, warnanya sangat kusam dan kamu tidak akan nampak dia. Tidak biasa dia akan muncul sebab dia hidup di bawah 1000 meters under the sea dekat Australia. Okay, next. But now the blob fish is famous because people say that it's the ugliest animal in the world. There are photos and articles about it in magazines or on the internet. This is really good for blob fish and for the ugly animals. But why? Sebelum ini kita jarang nampak ataupun kita tidak pernah nampak blob fish ini sebab dia tidak biasa. Okay. Tapi sekarang but now blob fish menjadi terkenal, famous, terkenal sebab orang cakap uh, blob fish ini merupakan haiwan yang paling hodoh di dunia ini. Okay. Terdapat banyak gambar ataupun artikel Pasal blockfish dekat magazine okay, ataupun dekat internet. Hal ini merupakan satu benda yang uh, baik kepada blockfish dan uh, haiwan-haiwan lain yang di dikelar uh, hodoh. But why? Kenapa? Kenapa se, uh, selepas blockfish dan haiwan-haiwan lain jadi terkenal, apa kebaikan untuk mereka? Every year, thousands of species of animals become extinct. We often see information about the most interesting, the most beautiful and the most colorful such as whales, butterflies or pandas. But some of the ugliest animals are also some of the rarest and they also need our help. Setiap tahun, beribu jenis haiwan menjadi pupus. Kita biasa nampak informasi mengenai haiwan yang paling menarik, paling cantik, berwarna-warni. Contoh, whales, rama-rama dan panda. Tapi, tetapi, ada setengah haiwan yang kita gelar dia hodoh. Dan juga sangat jarang kita nampak pun memerlukan pertolongan ataupun bantuan kita. On the list of the world's ugliest animals, the blobfish is often number one. But there are other fantastic creatures on the list. For example, the monkey with the biggest nose, the proboscis monkey, and the frog with weather's face, the purple frog. Okay. Dalam senarai, uh, haiwan yang paling hodoh di dunia ini, blockfish ialah tempat 
pertama Tetapi terdapat juga haiwan-haiwan lain yang terdapat dalam senarai itu Sebagai contoh, monyet yang mempunyai hidung yang paling besar Yang digelar sebagai proboscic uh, monkey Dan katak yang mempunyai muka yang pelik iaitu purple frog Are they really ugly? Adakah mereka sangat-sangat hodoh? No, they are interesting and rare. Rare, jarang. The best idea is to protect all animals. Kita mesti melindungi semua haiwan. Tidak kira dia cantik ke tidak. Right? All animals. Okay, so based on these three sentences, which does the writer agree with? The first, second... Third, which one? Okay, look at the first one. It is important to protect all animals because they are all interesting. Yes, the writer agree with it. Agrees with it. It's best to protect the beautiful species, not the ugly one. No, right? So because the writer mentioned that we have to protect all. Okay, ayat kedua itu tidak sebab okay, penulis petikan. Bercakap kita perlu melindungi semua haiwan. Okay, the third sentence. A lot of species become extinct every year. Animals in danger need our help. How about this sentence? Exactly, the writer agrees with it. Right? And next, our final focus of today's lesson is to stack true or false for five statements based on the test rate. The blockfish is quite rare. Okay. Blockfish ini jarang wujud. Jarang kita nampak. Is it correct? Yes. Why? Because from the passage, we know that it isn't the most common. Dia bukan uh, biasa. Yang paling biasa kita nampak. So, the answer is true. The second statement, the blockfish sometimes lives in the rivers. Is it correct? Does it mention about this in the passage? No, right? It's false because it lives 1,000 meters under the sea. So the answer is false. How about this? It's good that there are photos and articles about the blockfish. Yes, it's correct. This is the clue where it stated that there are photos and articles about it in magazines and on the planet. Okay, this is really good for blockfish and for the ugly animals. So the answer is true. How about this? There's a lot of information about pandas but not whales. Look at the clue. Okay. We often see information about the most interesting, the most beautiful, and the most colorful, such as whales, butterflies, or pandas. So, from this sentence, we know that whales, butterflies, and pandas often appear in the articles. So, this answer is false. Next, finally, we have the purple frog is on the ugliest animals list. Purple frog dalam senarai uh, haiwan yang paling hodoh. Tersenarai dalam itu. Yes, is true. Okay, because we can see. Okay, but there are other fantastic creatures on the list. Dia ada haiwan yang lain seperti monkey. Okay, mon monkey with the biggest nose and the frog with the weirdest face, which is the purple frog. So, the answer is true we have come to the end of our lesson so don't forget to take care of yourself stay at home all right okay that's all for today let's call it a day bye bye